Nurse Choma, founder of Choosing Nursing. So today I want to talk directly to those of you who feel like you're struggling in the area of med surge, right? Medical surgical nursing. And maybe you've been struggling with, you know, the care plans. Maybe you're in nursing school, you've been struggling with the classes. Uh, or maybe actually you're already, you know, graduated and really what you're struggling with is the NCLEX exam and you're struggling with remembering or retaining the material. Whatever your situation may be, I want to talk directly to you and help you to better comprehend, help you to better understand um, this area. Now, I remember when I was going through nursing school, the area that I struggled with the most was med surge. Uh, I, I really struggled with med surge. I shared with this story, this story many times that I even failed the first semester of med surge nursing and I had to retake med surge again. That's how much I struggled with it because I felt like it was learning a new language and that's probably what you feel as well. And so the thing about, you know, med surge is that the reason why it's so challenging is because you have to learn things from a more of an abstract approach. So it's not, you know, very hands on. You have to understand the concepts behind it. You have to understand the bigger picture the, the picture within the picture that connects the whole picture kind of thing. So, you know, med surge is not an, an easy place to, easy thing to digest, especially since there's so many different parts of med surge. There's so many things to know, you know, from the diseases all the way to the procedures, all the way to the interventions, right? There's a lot of components to med surge that makes it very challenging. And I remember when I was in nursing school and I felt like, you know, quitting and giving up, <laughs> right? If you feel that way, I want to tell you that you're not alone. And so I felt like quitting and giving up at one point because no matter how much I was doing, no matter how much effort I put into it, I wasn't getting it. And I, you know, I, I really, I, I cried. I was so depressed. I was sad. And so during that time, I was really desperate for resources. You know, there wasn't really a whole lot of people that could, you know, tutor or mentor me. I had to, you know, figure out on my own as far as in the area of focus on message because I was doing this, you know, at school and college, you know, on my own and everything, really just trying to study and understand everything. And I was, like I said, I was very desperate for resources. Uh, I was like looking at books and, um, and so resources is really what helped me to pass the second time. You know, not just getting any resource, but finding the right resources that speaks to me in a language that I understand and that I will grasp so that way I get it more quickly so I can take the test, pass the exams, and move on with my life. And so the tool that I really want to share with you today is something called Picmonic. Now, Pigmonic is a totally different platform than anything that you ever experienced or encountered. And I wanna show with you what makes it so different and why it would actually really help you um, regardless of where you are. So this is why I'm, I'm gonna talk specifically to these three type of pe uh, people, this falls under you. One, you're either in nursing school right now and you're struggling with med surge. You're like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. I can't get grasp this. That's the first person. Two, you already graduated nursing school, but now you're trying to pass the NCLEX exam. And what you don't realize is the area that you're not connecting the dots in is med surge, um, which could be like the anatomy, the physiology, the makeup of the body, whether it's your RN exam or your LPN exam. And then three, you may be an international graduate, right? So as an international graduate, you went to school in a different country. And because you went to school in a different country, uh, and maybe English is not your first language, although you're reading through you know, books and reviews and videos, a lot of it or some of it is not totally seeping in because there's different types of terminology, right? Medical terminology, nursing terminology that you're not familiar with. And that's why no matter how much you study, it's not very effective for you. So I wanna talk directly to those three type of people. So if that's you, make sure you listen to this. Uh, and for those of you that, that know and have been following this for a while, I've always been known for helping uh, repeat test takers, you know, especially those of you who have tried before, tried and have not been successful. I 
am called to help you. And Pygmonic is an amazing tool that will really shift you to where you need to be in order to progress in your nursing career. So here's some of the things that makes Pygmonic so different, all right? The first thing, number one, is the highly visual component piece behind it. So what Pygmonic does is that they use very, very, very strong visual graphics combined with wording that simplifies nursing tremendously. So for example, um, you may be learning or you need to memorize the medications like antibiotics or something. So what, what Pot Pygmonic will do is that they will, they'll have like a picture of like a pencil and then it will say penicillin. So you're so now what you're doing is that oh you know what a pencil is so you're so you're remembering to associate pen pen pencil with penicillin so that helps you to remember the name of the medication isn't that kind of cute so it's like they put very strong visual components with wording that simplifies um, the language of nursing especially if you don't if you're not familiar with a lot of terminology. They even have uh, teachings and course materials in their platform that is medical terminology, actually. They actually have a medical terminology course as well, in addition to that. So they simplify it with very strong visual pieces. The second thing that makes them very um, unique and different is their storytelling feature. So, you know, um, when we were younger and we were in elementary school or middle school, but, but mainly, you know, when we were younger, um, we were told a lot of stories, like fairy tales, right? Little Red Riding Hood, Three Little Pigs, all that kind of stuff. That's what they do in a sense. So they create, they they will create stories, um, and then combine the stories with a concept in nursing. So if, for example, let's say they're trying to, they're, the, the the topic is fluid and electrolytes. So they will literally create a story of how the sodium moves and the potassium moves and, and literally like how it affects the body, but in a story though. And it shows all these visual components and it makes it easier for you to remember, right? Storytelling is actually a very effective approach towards remembering uh, different types of material. And this is so important because like I said, a lot of the people that we work with you're struggling with the retention. You're struggling with the comprehension and remembering this stuff. So that's why you need simplified um, approaches or ways to help you associate this information so you remember it easier. So they put a lot of very strong storytelling features into the trainings that makes it so easy to learn. Another thing about this as well is that they really help to narrow down all your nursing fundamentals. So in order to uh, progress in nursing, you gotta understand how the body works normally, right? What good is it for you to try and learn all the disease processes if you're struggling with, you know, learning, you know, how the cardiac system works, how the renal system works, right? So what they do, literally, they have training after training with visual pieces, right? Visual graphics, where they go over all of the body systems. This is your anatomy and physiology. This is what you need in order to get the connection, right? Get the light bulb. So that way you can learn heart failure and different types of disease processes and diabetes, right? You, there's things that you're gonna forget or not easily retain if you don't first understand the foundation, the fundamentals of nursing, which involves anatomy and physiology. So this is really your, your, your very strong go-to course for anatomy and physiology. It's gonna really help you in this area and as well also for pharmacology too as well, right? Really laying down the basics because many of the things that a lot of people ask me over and over again is how do you learn medications? How do you learn the drugs? Well, one of the components to learning the drugs is for you to master suffixes and prefixes of the medication, which goes back to medical terminology, right? And that's how you simplify the information so it makes more sense to you. So inside the Pygmonic platform, they have all that already included. 
They have trainings that breaks down medications in the simplified simplified form as well to help you associate. Remember, oh, this is antibiotic. Oh, this is for for blood pressure. Oh, this is a diuretic, right? Because if you are struggling to learn the meds, chances are you, there's not an organized pattern that you're following through. So you need something that's structured, that's simple, that's, that helps you to better grasp the material. So I highly recommend this, especially like I said, if you're struggling to pass the NCLEX, um, you know, one of the key components to passing the NCLEX is your path though. That's the, the path of physiology helps you to prioritize the question and prioritize the right answer, right? You can't pick the right answer if you don't understand what's happening in the body. So if I have a patient who has CHF and I have a patient who has pneumonia, if I don't understand what how the body is being attacked between CHS, CHF and pneumonia, I'm not gonna understand who I should see first. Right, I'm not, and, and then on top of that, I'm not gonna really totally grasp why I should give these meds versus checking these vitals versus doing this this intervention or that intervention. So, knowing how the body works, that is what helps you to understand the next part, which is the diseases, which is the interventions, which is nursing. So, I hope that you will really consider what I'm saying today. Give this an opportunity. It's very, very flexible, super affordable. In fact, right now, if you go below this video, you click on the link below this video, if you go to bit.ly slash pigmonic discount, all right, bit.ly slash pigmonic discount, you can actually get 20% off the, uh, the course right now. 20% off the course right now. And I'm talking about these are like super, super ridiculously low prices already. So now is the time to get started. You don't want to waste time because the sooner you can begin to grasp this stuff, then you'll notice, okay, oh, this makes sense now. Okay, I get this now, right? How, how can you create flashcards if you don't really understand what to put on the cards? If you don't really understand what is important, right? What you need to focus on, what you need to be aware of. This is the tool. This is the platform from learning your fluid electrolytes to learning the different anatomy and physiology to just understanding even like pediatric nursing, just some areas that are more complicated to grasp. Pygmonic simplifies it for you. All right. So I would love to um, hear from you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below this video, but go ahead, get started, register. I promise you, you will be so glad that you made this investment. All right. Once again, this is Nurse Choma, founder of Choosing Nursing. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you the next time.